I tracked my time for over one year of my life and I use Toggle, which is a time tracking platform that has both a free and a paid version and I use the free version. So first, I just want to give some context about what stage I was of life I was in and my goals for time tracking. So I used this time tracking method during my undergraduate degree. The COVID pandemic started in around winter 2020 and I also transferred schools in fall 2020. Because everything was remote for most of my degree, I was able to complete internships with full-time working hours while maintaining my status as a full-time student. I used this spreadsheet to check my workload and make sure I could graduate on time. So here I have one column for each school term this row, credits completed, shows that I need to complete 20 credits by the end of winter 2023 to graduate on time. This row, credits in progress, shows the amount of credits that I was taking per semester. At my school, usually one class is 0.5 credits and some bigger classes are one credit. And this row is for tracking work. So I was doing back-to-back -back internships from winter 2021 to summer 2022. This also coincides with when I started tracking my time. I started near the end of the winter semester and continued until the end of the summer term. So as you can see here, I've exported all my data from Toggle. The first entry is from April 4, 2021, and my last entry is on August 14, 2022. Now, why did I decide to track my time? I can't say the exact reason because I don't really know. It might be maybe I wanted to build better time management skills by being able to more accurately estimate my tasks, uh, but I think part of it was really just a form of coping with what I already had committed to and like deluding myself into thinking I had some false sense of control over my time by being able to see it in front of me. Another part of me I think just likes knowing and having that data. I used to do these calculations like how much can I handle if there are 168 hours in a week, I spend 40 hours on work, 30 hours on school, maybe 8 hours a day sleeping, 2 hours a day eating, and so on. That would total up to 154 hours, which means that there's not much time left for things like entertainment, family and friends, and looking for a job. So I was wondering, does it really take this amount of time? And this is the starting point for what kinds of things that I was tracking. I didn't actually track every single minute of my life, nor was that the goal. So the total sum of the time I tracked was 7,811 hours, and between the time range I tracked, this is 495 days which in total is 11,880 hours. So I really only tracked 65% of my time. And if you assume a 16 hour day of being awake and I subtract the time entries for sleep, then I've only tracked about half the time that I'm awake. So what did I decide was important and not important to track? Let me get into exactly what I was tracking. So since Toggle is supposed to be for freelancers, how it works is first you set up your clients, except instead of clients, I just created life categories like career, school, Okada is the name of my school, work, and other things. Then you can break it down into projects, which are associated with the clients. So here we're viewing all of my projects. For example, you can see I have over 400 hours of work logged for this employer, and for this class on data visualization, I spent over 100 hours. So if I filter by school, I have it organized by one project for each class. And if I finish taking that class, I can archive it. So these are some of my archived classes. Same with employer. Um, that's how I organize the work client. If I stop working somewhere, I can archive it. And I also have career, which is things like job search and portfolio. So how did I come up with these categories? I didn't start by sitting down and making a list of all the things I usually do. The first week, I only tracked the main things that I wanted to know, which are school, work, and sleep. And then the second week, I added a category for career-related things. And about a month in, I added categories for personal side projects on an unavoidable life stuff. So personal is mainly like time spent with family, friends, hobbies, and unavoidable life stuff is like cleaning, groceries, and taxes. And it was almost a year later that I added a category for transportation. Side note, um, the reason that I added this so late is because before I was usually accounting transportation into other categories. For example, if it takes me 10 minutes to get to class, that 10 minutes will be counted under the time tracked for that class. And due to COVID, there wasn't much traveling. It was only when I had some longer trips out of town or flights that I added this category. So what did I not track? I didn't track things like washroom or shower because well, one, you can use the toilet on company time. Going to the washroom during the time you're working counts as work to me. And two, I don't feel the need to monitor how long I'm in the washroom. It's something I'm going to be doing no matter what. 
I also didn't track things like eating, entertainment, social media, because when I'm doing those things, I just want to relax and enjoy myself, and I don't want to feel pressured like I'm timing it. I'm also not trying to limit or optimize my time spent on those things, so I don't really care about that data, and not tracking those things just makes my life easier. So now let's zoom into one specific week so I can get into how I actually use Toggle day to day. Um, my average daily hours is about 16 hours. So here I have picked a week where I tracked about 16 hours per day to represent an average. And here I've recreated the exact time entries from the week of December 12 to 18, 2021. The reason it says January is just because I recreated it during using the data. If I try to go back to the actual week, nothing will show because Toggle won't show entries from more than three months ago in this view. So this timer list view is the one I spent the most time on and I always had this tab open. Whenever I started a new task, I could select it from a previous task and the timer will start right away or I could type it and um, manually add the project which automatically gets associated with the client or if it's previously entered one, then the project will pre-populate and once I stop the time entry, it automatically gets added. So as you can see, I've just added something for report one. And if you ever forget or you need to make a change, like, hey, I actually started this at 640, then you can edit the time. So I'm just going to delete this. But I prefer this method of stopping and starting a timer rather than blocking chunks of time to work on specific things because I found that trying to force myself to follow a strict schedule doesn't really work well for me personally. Unexpected things could happen. I could be struck with some inspiration or maybe something urgent comes up at work. Um, I liked having this weekly ongoing visualization of breaking down what time I've tracked this week, kind of like a dashboard of my week. Usually work would be higher than school, but since we picked a week in the end of December, I was spending more time than usual on school since I had a lot of things due. You can also use the calendar view. I didn't actually go here that often, but it's nice to look at. For me, it was more useful to see if I tracked multitasking. For example, somewhere like here, I was doing something during a meeting. I'll end the tour with the reports view because I think every week it's nice to have an overview of what you did and be able to compare it to the previous week, although I didn't actually check it very often. For example, here I tracked 118 hours this week and the previous week I tracked 154. And this is probably because I think I was traveling this week for work. Um, I can also see things like how much sleep did I get and compare that between weeks. Sometime in the future, I wanna make a video um, analyzing how I actually spent my time across the almost 8,000 hours, but that'll be later. Anyways, here we're actually looking at my final week of tracking, and I didn't actually plan to stop tracking on August 14, but it just happened to be my last week of work, and I also went on vacation the week after. So I stopped tracking my time and when I stopped working full-time at the same time as studying full-time. Why did I stop? Mostly changes in circumstances throughout my time tracking, I found that it was much harder to maintain tracking when I was traveling and not on my computer as much. And I think one of the things that made this period of time tracking doable was two things. One, since it was during COVID, I didn't go outside as much. And two, due to the nature of my work, both my studies and work involved being on a computer for most of the time. So it was very easy for me to start and stop the timer. There is a Toggle mobile app that might make this easier today, but at the time I didn't use it too much. But also, after this chapter in my life, I simply had more time that I wasn't required to spend on work or recruiting since I was going into my last year of school and accepted an offer for my internship to return as a new grad, so I didn't need to guard my time so carefully. I realized I create metrics based on what's important to me and what I have, which changes over time. Back in high school, when I had my first job for minimum wage, I used to track my money and expenses, and now I think I'm in a part of my life where I'm trying to track my memories, which are becoming more precious to me. And there are certain habits that you develop while tracking that end up staying with you for longer. For example, I think tracking my money when I was younger affects the financial decisions I make today. As for time tracking, I think this really fostered a mindset that I always have to be doing something and making the most of my time, which can be both good and bad. But it's hard to say whether this mindset already existed because that's what pushed me to do it in the first place or if it's something that grew stronger as I did this, but it's definitely still something that sticks with me today.